Well, this morning's weather wrap, areas all across the region continue to clean up following devastating storms last weekend. The tornado outbreak on December 10th and 11th was a historic event. Across the Wabash Valley, we had one tornado touchdown and just a few west of the area. I spoke with residents of Coles County that they say they were scared but now are thankful so many people are still coming together almost a week later in the aftermath of the storms. Just thankful we was all still here. It was an active start last weekend for lots of folks across the Midwest and in areas across the South. Nationwide, there were more than 500 storm reports. Locally, we had around 30. Most were power outages and gusty winds, but we did have a tornado that fell in the significant category in our viewing area. I spoke with Jim Hilgenberg, the director of Coles County Emergency Management Agency, who said there were about five to six homes that were severely damaged, but several other places also saw some tornado damage. We don't have a dollar amount said, but there are several residents uh, between 20 and 25 different entities that uh, were damaged. We were outside Alton Warehousing in Mattoon, a building that took a blow, but Hilgenberg said this was not the first time Alton had seen damage. A few years ago, I had the roof blown off of it, uh, but um, it's kind of a little more than that this time. Behind me is just some damage left after an EF2 tornado struck areas in Coles County Friday, December 10th. Gene Cox, a resident of Coles County whose house was severely damaged, said they've seen storms before in the area, but not as bad as this one. It was terrifying. I mean, the, the wind coming through the house around the winds as I, I assume and stuff it was it was just humming terrible loud. Cox said the first thing they noticed when stepping outside was that the items in their attic were all over their backyard and that the roof was gone. It was devastating but so many people came out to help. Hundreds. <laughs> all kinds of people, yes. Are you thankful for Oh yeah, over overwhelmed. The last time our area has seen an EF2 or greater was back in June 2019. Nathan Ward, also a resident of Coles County, said it's been incredible how many community members have came together during these tough times to help out. People from all over the community, even that wasn't infected uh, by the storms, came out and helped people clean up and are still helping people clean up and donating, you know, donating clothes and places to sleep and food and water. It's just awesome that this community has came together. And other places hard hit from this system are Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Missouri. 